Okay, I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. And um, I've got here a variety of different kind of mark making and colour making tools and things. So we've got oil pastels, so they're the kind of pastels that aren't chalky, they, they're more kind of waxy. Um, got some coloured pencils and you can also use the kind of coloured pencils that um, are water soluble. So you can, these are pencils where when you draw with them, uh, then you put water on top and it becomes a little bit like paint. Got some Posca pens, um, or any pens would do, some pencils or graphite sticks, these are, but pencils are fine. Um, if you want to, you can have pencils that have got different softnesses, which is the, the numbers on here. So the higher the number, if it's got a B after it, it's really soft and it gets darker, makes darker marks. Got some ordinary felt-tip pens, some watercolour paints, but you can use acrylic paints if you've got them or um, any other kind of paints. Some wax crayons here. That you're familiar with those they're the kind of things you might use when you're quite young but they're really useful paint brushes and scissors and glue so we're going to use all of those things and we're going to start on our one piece of paper we've got two pieces of paper and we're going to just use the first one so i'm going to get the other piece of paper out of the way because we want that to be nice and clean for the next task. So you've got your sheet of paper and then on this you're literally going to just, you can kind of go mad just making marks and you can make them really big, you can make them really small, you can make them really light and soft, or you can make them really hard like that so you can really sort of experiment with all the different things that you've got so pencils wax crayons are quite interesting because if you use those and then you put paint on top the paint won't go over the top of the wax it won't sort of um you know it still shows through the wax still shows through so you can just kind of explore the whole page with all these different things and cover this whole sheet of paper. So at the end of this, we want the whole sheet of paper to be as covered as possible. Well, it doesn't really matter what, what you do. again you can go dark and light use the sides don't worry if you break it use the sides of the crayon to get wider marks or the, just the tip to get thin marks and just keep going and keep going and I'm going to just maybe use a little bit of green there, felt it pens, and just a bit like doodling really, so you can just doodle away. Keep doodling. Help. Covered the whole thing. I think I need a new set of felt tips, don't I? These are a bit dry. And then these oil pastels, so those are different from the wax crayons. And actually, sometimes you can get some quite nice um, sort of textures coming through if you're on top of. This, I'm on top of a wooden table here, so some of the texture is coming through. Got lots of maybe dark areas. And I'm going to just be a little bit quicker because um, I need to show you what to do 
next. If you want to use paint, you can, I'm just going to dip it in some water. You can use paint and um, kind of go over some of the bits where the wax crayon is, just so you can see those patterns, but maybe just don't go over the whole thing. And it goes over uh, oil pastels quite well as well. But if you haven't got all of these things, that's fine. You can just use paint. And you can use paint to kind of make your doodling marks. So don't worry if you haven't got all of these things. It's just about covering the paper with lots of variety, really. That's, that's the point of this. We're just going to be covering this whole sheet of paper. Have some music on whilst you're doing it. Just kind of lose yourself in the process. Just enjoy all the different colours, shapes, marks. Maybe use a thick brush and then use a thin one if you want to, thinner one. The marks that you make might be very different from the marks that I make because in a way, the way we make marks is a little bit like sort of handwriting. Our handwriting is all individual, isn't it? People have different styles of handwriting. And that's the same with the kind of marks we make when we're drawing and doodling. Sometimes people like making really smooth rhythmical marks. Some people like making quite big messy marks. Some people are quite neat and like making small marks. It's all completely up to you what you do. And you can see that I'm just starting to fill all the little white spaces because we're going to try, you might want to leave a few white spaces, you don't necessarily have to fill every single kind of area, but try and fill large areas like this, so don't, don't leave big areas of white because that will make what we do next a little bit dull. So the more you've got on here, the more interesting the next bit of this is going to be. And I'm not really thinking about the colours I'm using. I'm sort of just going with the with kind of instinct, I suppose, really, you know, just dip your brush in here, dip it in there. I'm not so keen on certain colours, so it might, I've kind of avoided too much brown here. I'm more of a kind of bright colour person, so I'm probably subconsciously thinking about that. But, you know, you don't have to put too much thought into it, really. Just make it into quite a relaxing thing to do. And you can take a bit of time. Make a few circles as well, I love circles. And you see that I'm just using my brush really loosely, not even holding it at the, the top end here. I'm holding it right at this, this long end and letting it sort of take its own course. Oh, if you get drips, that's all right. You can do something with those. Might even pour some drips on. And do a bit of, if, if you're allowed to make a little bit of mess. Don't 
don't do this if you're in the lounge with the best sofa next to you. <laughs> Right, there we go. I think I'm going to just sort of finish there just because this is a demonstration. And then even on top of this, when the paint's dry, if you've got something like Posca pens, you know, you can do extra marks on top. When that's dry, it shows up a bit better, but you can do little, all sorts of squiggles and shapes and, um, yeah, so if you've got dark coloured things, So maybe a little bit of detail. Okay, so keep going as long as you want. And you can get smaller and smaller with your marks if you want to and actually kind of fill in these white areas so that it's quite a solid area so you've got some pens or paint that you can do that with so if you want to you can really kind of fill in your whole sheet of paper because the more you do the more you fill in the more interesting it will be for the next bit that we're doing. So that's something that you might end up with and I'll show you the next bit when this is dry.